Hey there, and welcome back to Mastering Kinemaster Tutorials Narrated in English. So, it's my favorite video app. I've said it, but not everything's perfect with it 100%. And what I'm here to tell you today about is something that could cause you problems and would be very frustrating. It's frustrated me a couple of times. I want to tell you about what it is, and I want to tell you how to avoid it, and just to give you a heads up on it. Because you can make the coolest project in the world, and then you have to redo a bunch of it because of this thing. I call it the speed trap problem. So stick around and see what I'm talking about on Mastering Kingdom Master Tutorials, narrated in English. To showcase this problem, I put together a simple project that's got some random footage but has a basic construct. And what it is, is it's some drone footage and then I get a layer going on top of it that's a sticker. And that sticker continues into the second clip, which is a clip of me talking. And then the clip continues and at the end of that clip, there's some text that starts in this clip and stays as a layer on top until it gets to the final clip of this black lit up type of area here. And so, as we use layers, we think that we put our layers in purposeful positions. Maybe they come out of our mouth, the bubble comes out of our mouth, the text showcases the right time and the right place. I've decided that this drone footage in the beginning is too slow, so I want to speed it up. If I go into the speed menu, which is a great feature that KineMaster has, I want you to watch and you can see it simply without even scrubbing the film, but watch the two layers that I have there. So now, I'm speeding it up to two and a half, and it looks pretty clear that the layers have stayed in place in the timeline, whereas the clips have gone and moved to come together with the sped up clip as well. And so watch when we scrub, what we would expect is that, remember, is that that cool sticker used to start on the drone footage. It's not here yet. And then this would be corresponding with my mouth movements. Of course, it was silly, so it wasn't, but it doesn't show up until several seconds later in that clip. Let's look at what happened. Remember, the text used to start inside of this clip in this store here, and it used to fold over onto this last clip and now it doesn't even start until the middle of the last clip and I unfortunately need to tell you that if you had a video that you had created that had 20 clips with 10 overlays pictures and pictures all of it and you decided afterwards that you wanted to speed up the first the second the third clip it doesn't matter which one you do it's going to mess everything up like this and reorganize everything. And the more work that you've done, the more of a hassle it is to try and reposition all of those layers because they need to be done individually. I'm just gonna show you by clicking on this one. If I speed this one up, it's gonna do the same thing to that second part of the, you see it's bringing the black to the, the text is in the wrong place. It doesn't move the layers with the speed up. It does not happen. I've tried to address this and I am 99% sure that this is an unfortunate, what I would almost call a bug, but it is there. And my only answer to this is do not put a bunch of layers on until you have come to a decision about the speeding of your clips. You can speed up your clips, organize your clips. So my recommendation is don't be frustrated like I have been many times. Remember when you want to speed up a clip, make sure the clips are laid out and then do your layers afterwards. That is the real solution to this problem. I like to tell about good things, but I also like to help people out making good videos. And this is one of those things where I ran into it so many times and I had forgotten. So remember this, put your clips together first. If you're going to speed anything up, do it first before you put any layers on top of it. And there you have it, everybody. The speed trap shown to you right there. I'm sorry it's part of the KineMaster, but it still doesn't make it not the best video app out there. I hope you had a good time understanding what this is and you can avoid it in your own projects and do it best as you possibly can. If you like the content, remember to like the channel, come back, support me, and come back for more information about how to make the best video projects you possibly can using KineMaster, the best software out there. Hope to see you next time. Make some really cool content. Talk to you soon. Can the master.